In this step, we want to configure the database for SciCam PSCC, the HMI for substation information from Siemens. We are done already with SciCam PS, the data concentrator, so all the data we want to interface is already available in SciCam, but now we want to make it available to our WinCC, uh, basically our PSCC HMI system. So we're done with 61 and 50, so we can close it tree here. And here you see something called PSCC. CC stands for Control Center for Substations. So if you open up the tree, you see there's uh, a connection configured already to our HMI system. But now all the information is in SciCam, and we now want to map it to our PSCC. In order to do this, you go to the top, to the Mapping tab. And in this Mapping tab, you go down where you find the PSCC uh, HMI system, so this bottom level here. And now we want to map information from our Supertech 5 relays and from our Schweitzer relay to uh, the HMI system. So here you can see now it's asking for topology. This is the topology we configured earlier in the previous step. So you can go here and now set a filter for substation south 400 kV bay 1 Ciputec 1. This is our first relay. And I'm now working in the monitoring direction, so these are the feedback signals. And I want to see all the devices which are double point indications. So here you select if you want to use this in, in the WinCC system. And if it's red, something is missing. So on the right hand side you see two columns, one is called tag management and the second one is called alarm logging. If you check something in the tag management uh, column, which means that you make it available in graphics in the HMI system, so I want to use uh, this information in the graphics. And if you check alarm logging, uh, that means the information when the status is changing or if you send a command that, will, that this information will go into the event or alarm list. So I want to see this in our event list as well. So these were the feedback signals and I also want to control the devices. So I go to the command direction and I set a filter for the 400 kV level CProtect 1. And here I see if you set the filter here for double commands you will see the three devices again uh, if you increase the size of that column a little bit, you see this is my circuit breaker control, my disconnect one control, and my disconnect two control. You can also choose, like in Excel, highlight everything, right click and say yes. And the same way to do it here. And I also want to see the information when I send a command in my event list. This was our first relay. I will do now the same thing for our second relay for bay number two. So you set the filter to Ciprotec 2. Same thing for the command direction. And in our bay number two, we only have one disconnect ground switch. So I just check here, make it available in graphics and put the information into the event logging and I want to do the same thing for the command. Okay, last thing we can do is now look at the uh, SEL421 relay, which is here on the bay number three. And I configured, or I put a little program into the relay. When you hit push button one or push button two, it will toggle a binary input of the relay. And this is called, I have to scroll a little bit down. There it is. So if you search for this name, Annunciation ALT stands for Automatic Latched Bit, DGIO5 Indication 1. 
So if you hit push button one on that relay, it will uh, this information becomes true, and if you uh, hit push button two, it will reset the information and become false. And I made this information available in the graphics as well as in the alarm logging. There's also a measurement on the relay, uh, the 60 hertz that you see on the display. So if you go to measurement, floating point, right on the top it's called metering metmmxu1.hertz hz. So this is the 60 hertz that you see in front of the display. Okay, so now we're done with all information we want to do with the three relays. We want now to create the database for our HMI system. So go back to the configuration tab, go down where you see the HMI, you right click on the symbol and say export, and this will export in PSCC PXD file. This is the database for our ONCC system. So you click save and you can replace existing file. We are now done with creating the database.